Minecraft, Oblivion, Titan Quest, Diablo, and more to come. <sighs> wow, that was crap. Alright, it's time for another episode of Let's Play Minecraft, and to start things off, I got myself a pet dog wolf thing. And uh, the way you catch these, actually, I think we've got another one out there somewhere. So what you need is some bones. And I'll just open the front door here. What you need is some bones. And you need to find yourself a wolf, dog, whatever it is. And yes, I'll explain all that nonsense in a minute. All that jibber-jabber. I believe that should be one just over here where I found my my one yes here's one and all you need to do is wander up to it there you know they're not they won't run away or anything like ocelots right click with the bone and sometimes it takes one sometimes it takes many but then it will be tamed and here is another one right here so I'll tame this one as well and oh see it came up with black smoke that means it's not tamed yet keep clicking and you get it all right and then you just right click on them change them between sitting and standing when they're standing, they'll follow you around. When they're sitting, of course, they will sit in place. So let's just lead these little guys back to my home. Um, in fact, while I'm out here... Oh, shit. That's the mob spawner right oh, under here, actually. So that freaked me out. This area is a little... It's got four separate little pins... And yes, I realize it's retarded design here, but um, it was the 20 by 20 area. It's exactly on top of our mob spawner. I just sort of did that for no reason. But um, these four pins here are all linked up inside, and our wolves just, or dogs, or whatever, just teleported in. Linked up inside there. And this is going to be our farm. We're going to have pigs, sheep, cows, and chickens all in here. So. That's what that is going to be, and um, to all the haters who have been saying, oh, your mob trap doesn't work, blah de blah de blah look at that. Oh, look, three gunpowder. Oh, freaking dog. Obviously it works, I just got three gunpowder from it. And we heard some zombies down there as well, but I guess they didn't drop any items. So, that music sounds really freaking loud, but it's, no, it's, it's the same configuration it was last episode, and um, it sounded alright, so... I guess we'll leave it. And if it's too loud, just comment. Let's bring these dogs in here. Oh, get over here. Come on. Alright, you can you can stay out there. So what we're going to do first in this episode is yes, I've gotten some slime balls. It's time to build ourselves an actual good door. So we won't probably need the shovel. Ah, oh, actually we'll need that, but we won't need that. Uh, no, we need the sword or the bones. We probably won't need these in our... Th I'll keep that in our inventory just so we can keep an eye on the time. And actually it is becoming night time. So we'll go to sleep. So that we don't get, you know, creepers sneaking up behind us and endermen and all that scary stuff. Coming up. And now what we're going to need for this... Will be some sticky pistons. Some redstone. It's pretty much... Oh, we need that pressure plate there. And... We're going... What did I get in here for? Oh, yes. Wooden planks. We're going to need two wooden planks. At least. I mean, we can cover it up later and make it prettier. But, basically, I'm going to have the door right there. And that'll be, will that be good? Yeah. Alright, this should be good. Put the sticky pistons right there. And the door. So that'll extend out to cover this area. Uh, when the sticky pistons are active. And what we need to do here... I think if we put a block there, then we can put a torch underneath it. Redstone. I'm just working this out as I go, by the way. I think we take a redstone, take a stick, make a redstone torch, yeah, and let's make this dude sit down now that he's finally come in. And I don't even need to act activate the crafting table. Let's make a redstone torch, here. Yeah. And come on, come in, you little bugger. Come on. Alright, you can stay out there, whatever. And let's dig underneath, I think if I put redstone torch, nope, okay that'll only, I thought that would power this block which would power both of them, but I was wrong so, let's put this back here, and actually mine that block out, and I think 
this will work. Yes, okay, that powers both the blocks. So what we need to do here is get some redstone. Actually, I want to do some vertical wiring here. So now that we know that works, I'm going to need redstone torch here on this block. Let's just dig down beside it as well so we can see what we're doing. We're going to need a redstone torch on this block, and then we need to invert the signal again. So we're going to need a redstone torch down there as well. So we're going to need two more redstone torches, and for such a build we will need... Oh, oh he's coming! Yes, sit down. Dogs sometimes get very annoying in case you haven't already noticed. And I'm sure you have. So let's make a couple of more redstone... Oh yeah, I was like, what What am I doing with extra redstone torch already in here? But it's the one that we had on this block here. So we want to put a redstone torch there, redstone torch there, and that should mean this one will still be on. Okay, that's good. And now what we need to do is lead this redstone wire... Oops underneath the ground here all the way back to where this pressure plate is so it'll need to go and actually the pressure plate's going to be you know knocked off the block there for a second but put redstone I'll put all the redstone wire down first and then put all the blocks back in their proper place and yes this can go straight over here and that should work just fine <clears throat> now what we need to do, we can actually put a sand block here. I believe it'll be held up by the torch. Yes, it will. Okay, so we can put this redstone torch here. And we can put this sand back on here. And it doesn't fall down because of the redstone there. Which is uh, quite a useful thing to know when working with redstone. Because sand is very often useful. So just place this here. Dig our way out here. And put these blocks down, and then we should be able to put our pressure plate down, which will invert the signal. Now we need a way to get back in. I don't want a pressure plate because zombies will stand on the pressure plate and skeletons and things and be able to break into our house, and that isn't the idea behind this kind of door. If I wanted a door that could be opened by zombies, I would simply use a wooden door like I had in the original video. So what we're going to do here is build a button, and I think you only need two cobblestone for that. Nope, okay, you need two stone. So we'll just take this stone here, make ourselves a button. One, two, three. Uh, I guess we're going to have to... What we'll do is we'll actually get another block of... Yeah, one of these. Uh, yeah, okay. And put that there, and we can put this button on there, and then we'll put some wiring below here. And that should be, I think that will work. I'm not entirely sure. Just wanted to mine up that, uh, get that block that was down there. Oh, I can't see the redstone wire from under here. No, that does not work. Okay. What are we going to do? do about this? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I suppose we could put, we could go, what shall we do? We could, we'll remove this block for now. It took a little while to remove. Uh, we could actually just put the button right there, I guess. Put that torch there, and then that will work, but it's kind of out of the way. And this pressure plate is not working for some reason. <clears throat> Let's investigate this. Apparently I'm not nearly as good at redstone as I thought I was. That doesn't actually activate that redstone. Okay. Thought for sure it would. Ah... Uh, Man, didn't even know that that didn't work. Okay, let's get a couple sticks, make ourselves some more redstone torches. I guess if we put, whoops, a redstone torch under here, 
actually we'll remove this block and we'll remove that and we'll remove that and remove this. And what we're going to do I'm going to actually have to remove this. I don't know why I put this here in the first place because we can just see the pistons without having to ha actually have anything on them. What we're going to do here is put a block of sand there, put that, s that redstone torch there. Okay, I'm going to have to change how the wiring works over here as well. Um, yeah, this is going to have to change uh, that. This is going to have to move. And we're going to have to put a block here. Put that redstone torch there. Put this block of sand back there and that there. Okay. And then put this on here. That there. And this. Okay, should we... And then we can put... Alright, I think that will work. Now let's try it. Okay. Not working. Hmm. I really thought that worked. I guess, I'm sure this used to work. Maybe either I'm a noob or redstone has changed in the recent past. Hmm. I'm going to cut out until I come up with another idea for this. Okay, I'm officially retarded. I worked out, yeah, look at this. The original plan does work, but because of the way I originally had the redstone torches set up, of course, the redstone was already ignited, but now that I have the redstone torch torches set up that way, this should work just fine. So yeah, I'm absolutely retarded. Yeah, there you go. So, now all we need to... Oh, I guess we can have that. I really don't like this button being right here, but I guess it's the only design we have right now. So I'll leave it like this for now, but it's going to be quite hard to activate the button and then get through. Hmm. Maybe I can move this. Yeah, let's move this over to here, that redstone torch there, and then put the redstone, vertical redstone over here, so we're going to need, how do we do it over here? Okay, yeah, so we, <coughs> we just need to dig down here, put this redstone torch here. I'm not exactly sure if that will link up now that I think of it, but we'll just try it quickly anyway. And put the button back. Well, of course the button will work, but no, the pressure plate will not work like that. So what we're going to have to do is change the direction that the Redstone takes at this junction and actually move it over that way instead. We can close up this nonsense and yeah, it just needs to link up to here. That should work, I think. I'm fairly confident that that will work. Yeah, that one still works, of course. And yes, this one works. Okay, so let's put the planks down. And there you have it. A piston activator door, and I guess we'll just put some super ugly cobblestone here. Make it look really disgusting. Yeah, this will be perfect. Obviously, when I do a tutorial for this, it'll be a lot prettier. Let's, while we're at it, put some torches up on the roof here. Put a torch over there. And, yeah, that is absolutely hideous. I mean, you could look at the house. Oh, even over here, it's absolutely disgusting. So let's just look at the house. Like, like that. Ah, oh, what a br what a beautiful house you have, Ultima Nerd. You must be some sort of architect. 
And then we come around here and... Oh! What an absolutely stunning house. That... You are a master craftsman, Ultimate Art. But then you come around here and it is absolutely disgusting. So, aren't I just the trickster? Okay, well, as long as it works, we can exit pretty easily. We have to press a button to get in. That is fine. So let's deposit this nonsense that we don't need. Uh, don't need this redstone. Put these back in our quick bar so that we have easy access to that sort of nonsense. And now, what we want to do, or depending on what time it is, and we've got plenty of daylight, is go and find... Actually, I'm not sure if I have time for them in this episode. So, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to have to call it an episode there. I was going to go look for farm, a farm animals in this episode. But building this took me ages compared to what I thought. So, uh, if this isn't long enough, of course, I'll just cut right here. Alright, assuming you are still watching, there may have only been a small edit there instead of cutting to some completely different footage. But, uh... That'll wrap up the episode then, so if you enjoyed this episode, remember to hit the like button. If you want to enjoy more, subscribe. I'm Ultima Nerd. Till next time.